morning, Abotai, Ayn Shabbat Shalom. Uh, this week's parasha, Parashat Kitisa, uh, you'll notice that in Kriyat Torah, the first two aliyot, Kohen Velevi, are the longest first two aliyot in the entire Torah. And the reason for that is, is because, again, it's, not, it's brought down in several poskim, that since uh, the Shevet Levi did not participate in the Chet Egel, and Chet Egel is a main theme in Parashat Kitisa, so we try to get the Kohen and the Levi to read about the Chet Egel, so as not to shame a Yisrael who goes up there and might start feeling bad that he participated. Therefore, we finish off the entire Chet Egel in both Aliyot, Kohen and Levi. Now, based on this, many poskim derive, it happens to be a machloket, but uh, several poskim say that a person should not uh, or the Gabai should not give an aliyah, uh, an aliyah that speaks about a certain topic to a person who's known to be chashud, to be suspect of not keeping that subject. For instance, in the first aliyah, in this week's parashah, it talks about Shminat Shabbat. It says, Ushmartem et Shabbat ki kodesh ilachem, mechaleleha mot yumat. It speaks about the severity of Shabbat. It speaks about the person who doesn't keep Shabbat is chayav mita. Therefore, according to that, a person who's suspect or certainly, if, a person, if you know a person's mechalen Shabbat, you shouldn't give him an aliyah to the Torah that speaks about chilul Shabbat because you don't want to shame him. The Chatam Sofer and others say no. On the contrary, if you know a person's mechalen Shabbat, specifically give him an aliyah that speaks about chilul Shabbat in order to shame him into keeping Shabbat so that he gets embarrassed and he doesn't. Aval, the minhag seems to be not to do that. So in general, it doesn't, it's not only with regards to the Ege, with regards to Shabbat, any issue in the Torah that you know that a person is uh, suspect of, that, that you know that a person maybe doesn't keep it, so there you should shy away from giving, away, uh, from giving that person that aliyah. Yom Tov and Shabbat Shalom.